Oops, there's a brush. What's up, guys? Well, we've been hunting for, what, two hours now? About two. About two hours. Um, it was raining this morning, so I didn't bring the camera. I'm just using my phone. But, uh, seen two deer up on a hillside in a clear cut. And that's it so far. Um, find the sign, though. Call it, check in, uh, pretty often. Um, but no responses yet. I think the rain's kept them quiet, so. We're struggling along, so. Stay tuned. Well. Been bugling a ton. But, uh. Found the rub. It's not super fresh, but. We've been, uh, sound checked and stuff. We're working our way around this big like canyon behind us um hopefully we'll get a bowl to pipe off somewhere around here but it's been, nice. it's been fun bow hiking we found some issues with our bows some things loose but uh we're good now so we're gonna keep on going it only takes one He uh, doesn't want to stop and wait out the rain. Rain, rain, move away. What's up, guys? So, update for day one of uh, Kyle and I hunt. So, we came here last night, slept. Um, just a row we found. Um, <clears throat> and then uh, we got up early got ready it drove down and I didn't realize there'd be as many people out this weekend anyway um and so there's trucks on pretty much every road that we were gonna go on so we ended up driving down the main highway found another LC uh, gated road didn't have a truck on it so we ended up walking in and well I think we uh, pushed ourselves a little too hard. So we we did overall like 7.4 miles, but that wasn't that bad. It was the, uh, we were three miles, three and a half miles like from the truck in. 
and about two miles from the truck this really bad rainstorm hit us and uh <clears throat> Tyler wanted to push through it um because we sat it out a couple times but uh we're just gonna push through it and get back to the truck and uh, as we did that it got worse and worse um luckily um it was a pretty main like uh open road and you know we didn't have like any blowdowns and it looked like a road that if needed be someone could drive up um for whatever reason but so anyways we got caught by this rainstorm um and at this point we had already been hiking all morning um put up quite a bit of miles down and so we're kind of beat feeding it to the truck and the rain got real bad we got soaked um and we were really sore so we decided instead of risking because it's supposed to rain really bad tonight and then tomorrow morning um plus we never saw any elk or heard them so i think they're gonna be bed down anyway but uh and probably quiet so we're gonna take tonight off um so we can kind of set up the little camp and then uh i had to dry out all my clothes <laughs> Um, but yeah, we're going to get up tomorrow. Hopefully it's not super heavy rain and we'll get back after them. So day one down, elk one, us zero. But, uh, yeah, we did see some deer. Um, we almost walked right into, uh, two, two little fawns and a doe. That's pretty cool. I got some video of that. So anyways, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Well, Kyler and I are sitting on this rock landing over a clear cut. And uh, we're not having much luck at all. And uh, I think tonight we're going to move locations. Thought this area would be a little more productive, but there's also a lot of people up here. I think that's part of it. They're probably pressuring the elk a lot. So hopefully come this week it'll die off and we'll get our opportunity. But putting in miles, so no lack of effort. All right guys, so back in the truck again. Um, again, no luck, uh, but we're gonna move a whole new area, whole new unit, so that's what we're doing now. We're gonna do it tonight, but we kinda wanna take the opportunity to potentially get on some roads before the evening, uh, before dark, so that's what we're doing. We're on our way. Day two, day three, day three. Day three. Day three, video. One. We're heading down. Oh yeah. Well, 
out, guys. We're, uh, I can indicate a road that, uh, I've had some success on as far as seeing elk. And, uh, we're just, uh, decoying in every little draw. And, uh, so far nothing, but, uh, we're hopeful we've seen, uh,
little pipe off by itself. And we can hear a little better. As of right now, though, we don't know where he's at. He's somewhere that way. It was very faint. So, and I know the uh, sound doesn't travel very well on this Oregon coast, but he's probably, uh, there's a creek down there. He's probably up the drain. Well, walked down the timber a little bit, top of a pretty nice little clear cut. Sat there for a while, did some bugling, no responses, no nothing, honestly. A little bit of sign, kind of seemed a little older though. Called a good game trail down there, but to no avail. I'm gonna go find, uh, find some fresh sign, it would be nice. But, we shall see. Finally found the fresh sign. That thing goes so far up there. Up there. There's one. We just did a, went up that way on the road and uh, almost half a mile up there we ended up finding a fresh rub and then we, I noticed in the timber was uh, another rub and then another rub so we, we ended up following it up here. It's hard, hard to see but up in the timber here probably about a quarter of a mile up there, maybe more. Um, you see the rub line kind of cuts inside hills, this mountainside. And uh, we know some of the elk came down, but I think the bull stayed up. And, uh, and if we can get away with it, we're gonna try to the top, let it cool down and then start calling down off the other side. Um, there's a creek on the other side too. So initially we thought they're heading down um, this way, but after looking at the sign, um, like towards the top of the road, there's fresh wet poo. And down here it's a little more dry, so now we're thinking that they're heading up, um, maybe up and down to the creek. So. We're gonna take a break and then drive up there and uh, walk in. Hopefully, mm -hmm. hopefully, uh, rabbit. Jesus, I do a video here. Anyway. We're still trying. This is only day four. It's Tuesday. We got till Sunday. Uh, but this is the best sign we've seen so far, period. There's fresh poo, fresh rubs, and the, the rubs tall. How tall do you think that was? Eight feet. Eight feet? Seven, seven feet? Eight feet? I mean, he's a big boy. And I'm not saying we're going to get that bull. We get any bull, be awesome. Any bull. Any bull. This unit's one, one bull elk, but I bugle a handful of times coming down in, 
no responses, so they're probably moving or they're in a bed somewhere. But uh, either way, we're gonna find them. Huh? Could be up on the other side. Yeah, could be. We'll find them. Well, okay, so today we moved up north again. <coughs> a friend of mine kind of helped find some uh, area to check, so that's what we're doing. Getting off the road completely and uh, trying to get down through this creek bottom when it's really thick. And then it, we need to check the weather, so it's starting to pour. So, yeah, it's, uh, we're trying to wait out the rain right now a little bit. But, uh, it's, it's uh, thick in here. There's sign, it's snowing. So hopefully they're just up ahead of us. Well, driving the road, found this barely fresh side. Hold the hand. Video.
Our uh, last little hike before we head back home. So we're just walking the property line. See if we can see any elk down here. And then we can call them up here, hopefully, or anything. Well, everyone, this concludes our 2021. a little bit and uh, I believe that's going to conclude our hunt. We're going to try to uh, stay positive going into next year. we got some uh, some time under our belt out there hiking, seeing some spots, going to uh, figure out you know this next year what we're going to do, where we're going to hunt, try to get in a little better shape, a little uh, kind of fresh from all that hiking, but uh, next year will be better. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. That, that's your bit. What's up, guys? Hello. <laughs> so, recap of our 2021 season. Uh, we were unsuccessful. Uh, we started on the coast. Uh, we were up north on the Oregon coast here. hiked a lot of gated timber company roads and uh, we put all our eggs in that basket pretty much and it did not pan out so we hiked a lot of miles I think we're 
probably close to 40 miles now. And uh, we had one bull respond to us and our lack of experience uh, basically ruined that for us. Uh, we tried to bugle back and forth and I think he responded twice basically but we didn't know where he was at and instead of going straight for him we tried to skirt this road around him and then he ended up shutting up and we couldn't find him again. Shut up real quick. So uh, like I said lack of experience and we're still learning. I'm definitely learning. He's This is first year archery hunting for elk so first year to make mistakes. We're going to make mistakes. Uh, I think we learn a lot. I learned a lot. I learned definitely a lot. Um, I definitely learned that uh, I can go a lot further than I thought and that pretty much, you know, even though you get out of breath and your legs are sore, your body, and as long as you have the mental capacity, you can keep pushing through it. Keep on keeping on. <clears throat> Which we did a lot of, to be honest. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so zero elk. We actually have not even seen elk. Yeah. <laughs> we heard them. Uh, but that's it. But, you know, learning experience. Um, kind of sounds like uh, early season in the north of Oregon coast was pretty good. And then, like, the later half of the season, the southern Oregon coast was pretty good. I think we just didn't time our time off right. And uh, since we hunted the last week of the season, and uh, mostly in the north. So I think next year we're gonna maybe buy some uh, warehouser keys, maybe buy some trail cams. I'm definitely gonna scout more uh, different areas and put some more boots on the ground. And then, uh, yeah, we're just gonna keep trying, practice, learn, uh, practice calling some more. Um, and keep shooting. Shoot straight, accurate. We're not giving up. We're not giving up. We went eight full days, eight, seven? Eight days. Eight full days of pretty much hiking nonstop or, you know, trying to find some kind of sign. I'm sunburnt. Hey, sunburnt. But uh, yeah, we were close. We were smelling them. We were, got fresh sign and fresh rubs. We just couldn't get them to respond to us. And, you know, and especially Roosevelt's, if you don't see them and you don't hear them, it's really hard to find them, so. That's how come. That's how come. Uh, <laughs> uh, we are, we do have a rifle tag. We have a four day weekend. Four day weekend. Four day weekend um, for rifle deer on the west side. Um, so stay tuned. I will do my best to film on that. I didn't film a ton this year because of the lack of action. Um, that's not going on, so. so anyways, thanks for watching guys. If you would share, like, and uh, subscribe to the channel. Later. Come on. One more what? Uh-huh. Hey, like and subscribe to the channel. Perfect. <laughs>